All right, continuing with the J2D uh, graphics, we're going to look at transformations. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show two of the transformations, the translation and the rotation. Uh, again, I'm using the zcode.com uh, tutorial uh, as a template to show these different... Uh, so, uh, in this program, I've set up a uh, cubic curve and uh, you can see here that I have the set curve and the draw command I have two control points um, but before I do that I've gone ahead and translated this so I have a 1024 by 1024 drawing space and what this translate command does is it moves the center of the coordinate system the zero zero point to the center of the screen and then this coordinate system is just like the one we learn in grade school where you have positive and negative coordinates. Of course, in almost all computer graphics, the origin is in the upper left corner. You don't really have negative coordinates. So the very first thing that Translate does is it moves those. So if we come down here and look at the command, um, it's going to go ahead and create a curve that goes from 0, 0 to 0, 0,400. Uh, which now is going to be about from the center of the screen, zero, zero, straight down, uh, not quite to the edge of the screen. So the screen is 512 pixels, and that's the radius, so to speak. And this is going to be a little less. And then the control points are set up, uh, and they're, they're hard-coded here. So negative 350, 150, 350, and 250. So let me show you what happens when I draw this. So look at the coordinates carefully here. 0, 0 to 0, 0,400 normally would be from the upper left corner uh, straight down. But with the translation, it won't be. So we'll run this. And there's the uh, cubic curve that I just drew. And I only drew one. All right, now to make things interesting, I'm going to combine that with the rotation. And I'm going to reset the loop so it does this 16 times. But each time, we're going to uh, rotate. And what that will do is it will draw the first one in the same position. Then it will rotate the coordinates around the new origin. And it will draw the next. So what you'll see is that we, this is uh, there's two pi radians in a circle. So um, pi divided by eight is sixteen, which happens to match how many I'm drawing. So here we go. So now you can see that each one is exactly the same, but it's just rotated, and that's how the rotation works. Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, there's some other transforms that we'll do in later videos.